Sweetians, welcome back to Zweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Zweetieville. I am Sweetie Pie, and we are back with a brand new LP, so I hope you guys enjoy this. This is going to be going a bit with the Realm of Magic, and this Let's Play, um, or Legacy Challenge I'm playing, is created by Rory Plays. It's called Magical Witches Legacy Challenge. It's a five-generation challenge. And here are a little bit of the rules. It's your young adult birthday and you've received an old letter, <clears throat> excuse me, in the mail from a wrong lost relative. The return address is from a strange town that you've never heard of. Curiosity gets the better of you and you rip open the age envelope and see what you've been given, a plot of land in a quiet town of Glimmerbrook. You are a bit mischievous, wild at heart, and super resourceful. But most of all, you're eager to start your own path in life. You head out to adventure to a place that you've never been, full of mystery and the unknown. You're excited to see where this journey takes you. So, we have our sim, Celeste, here. And she is on her plot of land in Glimmerbrook that she was given. And this plot of land happens to have a little home on it. Um... So some of the basic rules is lifespan must be set to normal. So let's make sure we got that. Game options. Um, I don't remember where I'm going. Gameplay. Yep, normal. The heir is the firstborn child. In case of twins or more, a firstborn is the heir. Your sin must start life off as a young adult, which is what we have let's go look her up here here she is she is a young adult in fact i've lost one day on her Ooh. um don't know how that happened because i literally just created her but she's a young adult um you could choose a starter sim male or female you can live wherever you like in this challenge unless specified by the rules of the generation Feel free to influence the gender of your heir through music or food. If there are additional spells, potions that you want to learn in each generation, please feel free to do so. A witchy tip. Plant a money tree in generation one to help make money and make sure to pass it along to every generation. You can earn 8000 a day. And then she says if you play this challenge, hashtag it Magical Legacy so she can check it out. And she is playing it live on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash Rory Plays. So if you'd like to see her play that, go ahead. And we are starting with Generation 1, which is a magical adventure awaits. Her aspiration, but uh, gotta go down, has got to be the spellcraft and sorcery, which we have. Her traits have to be outgoing creative and kleptomaniac um lot we have to live in glimmerbrook glimmerbrook watch in glimmerbrook which we do i've changed the name to glimmerbrook meadows because you know that's where it is but it is on the glimmerbrook watch here Lot traits, we can choose them. So the lot traits I chose are natural light, so painting is easier for her. Convivial, I can't pronounce that one, I'm sorry. Um, the spacious but intimate feel makes it easier to practice charisma, comedy, and mischief to your heart's content. And then I've got peace and quiet. Something about this lot makes it great for reading. Sims understand more, so they gain a skill faster from reading intense moves go away so i figured as she reads um tombs to learn spells she'll gain them faster and if she ticks off anybody with her mischief it'll help the tense mood go away faster so um earning simoleons she has to do odd jobs she can sell paintings or have the money tree um so she's not allowed a real job um, familiar for this generation, she has to get the um, Orb of the Raven and tools needed for the generation an easel, cauldron, 
an optional tent. All right, getting started. After you move on to your lot, feel free to use the rest of your smallens to create some sort of livable abode or buy a tent and put it in your inventory and live as much as you want at HQ in the magical realm. The first thing we have to do is travel to the magical realm and become a spellcaster from the Sage of Mischief, which is El Faba. And then we have to go to the gardens in the magical realm and harvest the wild mandrake plate, plate <laughs> plant, <laughs> grow the wild mandrake plant on our home lot. We can have as many children as we like, as long as the firstborn is the heir. Um, unlock the money tree in the reward store and plant on your lot when you move to generation two. Take it with you, and that is optional. Spells, we have to learn and perform all seven mischief magic spells. And then we have to learn the right of ascension spell to bestow the magic to your next generation when they become a young adult if they weren't already born with the gift to ensure the bloodline. Potions, we need to create a potion of nausea and give it to any sim. And then we need to create a potion of masterful insults and have your sim drink it and then head out onto the world and insult others. Under spellcaster perks, we have to unlock the mischief master spellcaster perk. Under skills, we have to master the mischief skill and we have to duel and win three times. And then to progress to the next generation, we have to complete everything above as well as make a potion of translucent charmer and drink it. And then we need to meet a sim of your choosing late one night at the Elixirs and Brewers Bar in Glimmerbrook and get pregnant with our heir. Um, we can choose if we want to keep the relationship going or not or have the heir anytime in Generation 1. We have to make sure the harvestables, the wild mandrake plant to their new home and um, have a piece of Generation 1 with them. So once before they move out, the heir has to... Um, harvest that that's what I'm talking for and if we do the money tree they have to take that with them so we can move on to generation two so let me introduce you here to Celeste Cauldron um, she is a sim I just created and then I was going to find a way to some sort of do a type of magical quick like LP and work through all this and then I seen that Rory came up with this and I was like perfect so I built this cute little home this is a starter home and it is only base game and realm of magic stuff on this home I used a ton of debug stuff I have a tree that's disappeared there there you go um, a ton of debug stuff if for the plantage so we could focus as much money on the house as we absolutely could um, so here's the front, we have the side view here and the back landscaping around here. I kind of wanted to block it off a little bit from the path that goes around the back of the home. So she has a little bit of privacy when she does her stuff. Um, as for the essentials on what she needs inside, there is not a lot. So the home is practically bare. Um, she found out that this home was given to her by her great-grandmother, and her great-grandmother didn't stay here a lot. She stayed a lot in, I guess, the realm of magic, says her house was pretty bare. She has just a few essentials, like, left on the counter and things like that, and not a whole lot. It's, it's pretty open concept, and just there we have the one bedroom here, and we have our bathroom here. And of course our back deck. We do have our easel already here placed for us, but we do need to save up money to buy a cauldron. Now, as I said, this is a starter home. However, it is not a starter home for Glimmer Brook. So if you put this on any other plot of land, like in Willow Creek or anywhere else where you just pay, you know, 1500 for the land, it will work as is. If not, then you have to delete the magical bathroom and put in base game stuff because this is so expensive it does overdo it 
but I really wanted this bathroom, so I did go ahead and do that, and then I only gave her $25 to start since I did really go over. Um, but that's the only thing that pulls this over is I really wanted the Realm of Magic in there. So if you place this lot on any other land that you only pay $1,500 for, it is a starter home and you will have about 50 some bucks left. Um, as for her, I'm only letting her have 25 bucks left and that's it. So I thought about giving her less, but you know, I, I didn't want to go and cry too bad right now. So, um, pretty much let's go ahead and get started. So she's a young adult. Everything is good. I told you all of her, um, traits and everything and her stuff. So let's go to the magical realm and find El Faba and, um, like, get us our spellcasting thing. But, oh, we are probably going to have the, um, buy a bee box. I'm not sure I want that. Buy a washing machine. Really don't want that. Buy a pool. No, she ain't gonna have time for that. Uh, meet someone new. Okay. I really don't want that. Buy a pool. Yeah, I don't want to buy a pool, peeps. Come on. I'm not going to search for vampires either. And we're not going to buy an instrument. Have a water balloon fight. We're not doing that. Come on. Something good. I'm not going to do laundry. OMG, I hate you. Okay, we're just going to leave it. So, I'm going to have her come here while we wait on the... Oh, uh, we don't have enough money for that. Well, that just really sucks. So, I guess we're just going to do nothing. But wait for the welcome wagon. Which is extremely boring. Who's my friends here? Who, who? Who's my neighbors? Come and see me. I, I know you live here, peeps. I want to go back there. Alright, I'm impatient. I'm just leaving. We are going. Because I'm impatient. I, I can't do that. Welcome, wagons. See you later. Alright, I have absolutely no volume all of a sudden. So give me just a moment and let me fix this. I'm sorry, guys.